Hey everybody, this is Coffee Chug, and I am here with another tip to help you out. In this case, what I want to do is show you how I keep track of business cards, note cards, and when I'm, I'm reading a book that I don't own and I, I write down an idea. Sometimes I'm in a meeting or a conference and I have a, a thought come to mind. Um, sometimes it's kid work. It's just a whole slew of things. And what I do is I use Microsoft Office Lens and I use Microsoft OneNote. Um, to store this. Um, this way it eliminates me having big massive piles of random pieces of paper which I'll take a picture and uh, show in the blog post for you to see what I'm talking about with what I'm dealing with. So I've kind of let it build up um, for a week or two so you can get a sense of what it is that I'm trying to avoid. So what I do is I open up Office Lens here. Um, this is a great tool. I use this a lot if I have to sign contracts or deals, whatever it might be, um, and you can scan it back as a PDF. So what I have here, is, and I've got it selected, you can see there's business card, there's photo, there's a document, and there's whiteboard. Um, for the sake of when I'm taking small pieces of notes, and say this is a little piece of artwork that my, my five-year-old did, um, and I want to keep this, I use the business card. And all I do is I simply uh, snag a picture here. You're going to see that's going to be processing. Um, and what you can do is... You can adjust the work if you want to. I can drag these in and out the corners and, and, and make sure I, I can adapt these accordingly. Say I didn't want that Bettendorf part there and uh, I want to move this up here a little bit. I could do that. Um, there we go. Um, and so you can kind of crop and edit in case you don't get the, the best view of what it is that you want. Um, by messing with these dots. So let's just say this is what I want. Um, just to give you an example here. Um, it's going to process it here. And then it's going to send it to my OneNote when I go through here. And I get an option. I can go to my OneNote. I'm going to call this um, Ava LOL Doodle. And now I have a folder already created. In my OneNote, um, I've got a binder put together, and then there I just have a variety of different things. And so actually, this is I have it under Book Notes, but I got stuff from last year. I've got business cards, kid work, note cards, stuff from way in the past, and then receipts. So in this case, I'm going to move it over to kid work. I'm going to hit save, and it's going to transfer that as we go through. This stuff is really nice, and I'll show you in the, in the next part of this video um, how this works. So it's processing here, it's going to go through, it's going, it's going, it's going, and then boom, there it is. I'm not going to open it right now, I'll show you here in just a minute. So I'm going to close that out. Here is my business card, and you can do the same thing for business cards. So if you ever go to a conference, as opposed to trying to keep track and save them all, you can now use this technique um, and just keep exactly what you want. Well, what I should have done was the back here. So I'm going to retake this image. So there, there's my business card. It's done. I'm going to move this over here. Um, and I just name it the person. And I'll put that right there in the business card information. And I'll save that. And I've got stacks and stacks of stuff. Um, so here's one. Um, uh, one more. I'll show you one more example. So we've done the business card. We've seen the kids stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I do this when I'm reading. And I always have a stack of note cards with me all the time. And I write down ideas, quotes, just different thoughts and things. Um, if it's really good, a lot of times, in this case, I don't have the author written down, but if it's a book or author, I will make a note so I can reference it and give credit to it when it's due. Um, in this case, um, this is just an idea that I had popped up in my head when I was doing work. Um, so I'm just going to call it Stay Ready Note. I'm going to switch that here to just my note ideas. I'm just note cards and 
and that's going to transfer there. So let's switch over and I will show you the OneNote so you can get a sense of what this looks like and uh, how these things develop. <laughs> All right, so this is my OneNote. I have it pulled up here on my Mac. Um, this will work the same with, on a Windows PC. You can also do this exact same stuff with the OneNote app on your phone. Um, so you see all my different tabs. This is the, the actual um, binder and notebook that I have here on BookNotes. That's what I took the images to. You can see I've got my different tabs up here. I've just removed some of my stuff just for the sake of this video. And here's what I want to show you. Um, for the kid work, here it is, LOL, it's perfect, just the way I shot it. Um, I can do a lot of work with this, um, and I can use this in information. I can just do a ton of work. I always have it saved. It's time stamped there for me. It's perfect. Uh, for my note cards, same thing. I've done a couple different options. I can see how I've got the whole pile. This is the pile that I was telling you about of ideas, so I'll snap these in, and then I can get rid of them. Um, and here is an idea that I had. Um, this is the one that we took. And we did two, I did two versions. This one here is that treated as a business card. Um, and on the Office Lens app, I have another one where I took this as a whiteboard, as if this was some handwritten work on a whiteboard. Um, and it just scans it a little bit different. But check this out. This is the beauty of this, for those that haven't used OneNote. So if I start to have all these, the question is, well, how can I find what I want? Check this out. If I do a search, OneNote can read my handwriting. How kick butt is that? So it's highlighted right there. And it's going to go through. I just typed in, you don't have to. Here are all the results where they have those phrases within these different notebooks. Um, and this works on both if I scan it as a business card or as a whiteboard. So it can read your handwriting. This is the game changer, people. So you can go back and search and you can find exactly what it is that you scribbled in your stuff. The third awesome thing is this. Check this out. If it is an actual business card, if you remember earlier, I scanned my business card. It's right here. Look what it does. It creates a contact thing for you. So I can go right in here. I've got this inserted already. It's right into my table. Here's a hyperlink to the website that was pulled right off the card. Here's my email, boom, away we go. We are in good shape. And so now as I start to scan more of these, this is the information um, that I need and it's gonna be awesome. So those are just some quick tips in terms of how I store stuff. I've also used this as a to-do if I have like a handwritten scribble note, my note cards, kid work, book note, business cards, and receipts, which I did not share just for personal reasons. Let me know what you think. I hope you find these helpful. It's a great way to declutter all the paper and stuff that we have in our lives, keep it stored online without losing it all. And if you have cool tips, ideas, and strategies in terms of how you use this information to stay productive and organized, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Until next time, stay awesome.